episode 2 story of change today's episode we're going to discuss about change welcome back to the 25 cent about change we'll be exploring more of the process we'll be exploring more of how to turn your negative experiences into positive ones and find growth and strength in the face of adversity paano nga ba natin ito gagawin let's understand change first well change is a powerful process that allows us to evolve and grow they say that things happen for a reason and let's find out if change also happened for a reason well it's about shifting our perspective that's the change that we're talking about we try to find meaning in the experiences and use them as a catalyst for positive change. This is not the toxic change. This is not the toxic posi- positivity that we're talking about. We're talking about hindi pilit na maging positive yung isang experience, but trying to look into the good things in the bad things which are happening around us or even uh, sa life experience natin. Let's begin with our personal take. The story of change. The 25 centavo change. In the book, I shared my personal take about this 25 centavo change. The story that is passed by my mother who passed away when when I was young. That I tried to look into ano ba yung mga positibong natutunan ko. Because if we're talking about loss, first and foremost, it's dark, it's grief, it's heavy. That I usually don't want to talk about when I was younger. When it was fresh, ang hirap talaga niyang pag-usapan. I'd, ra- I'd rather not talk about it. Some of my friends attempted to talk to me about it before, when I was in high school, but I shut them down. Unknowingly, I shut them down. I told them not that I don't want to talk about it, that I'm fine, even if deep inside I'm really drowning with, with sorrow, with grief. Because the loss in terms of death of my mom is heavy. And hindi ko siya kayang pag-usapan. That's why I always shut people up, down. I always tell them, I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. It happens to everyone. It's like... I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Even if maybe they've seen me not really fine. So the story of me shutting down people is something that is not new to the experiences of those who also lost someone. It's either you close your curtains, you close your doors from the people na nagmamahal sa'yo, from the people who care about you, who are asking about your condition, about your life. Kumbaga, friend, kumusta ka na? W- would you like us to go out? Uh, totally, if if you have that friend who suffered or who experienced loss and then doesn't want to talk about it, in the beginning, let's allow them to like grieve. But since grief has no limit, it, it may be, it has no years, it has no time at all hindi mo siya pwedeng sabihin, bukas okay na ako. Maybe tomorrow you're okay, but the next day, hindi mo pa rin masasabi that you're okay. It's like you're dragging yourself out from bed, wake up for maybe, kailangan mo kasing pumasok eh, kailangan mo kasing magtrabaho eh, kailangan mo may gawin. But there's this hollow feeling inside me that you don't want to talk about. And most likely, we also observe from our friends or from the people close to us who have experienced the same loss na hin- pinipilit nila na sabihin that they are strong. This is, yes, where resilience would come. It's, it's incredible to see a person, to observe a person who is resilient amidst this chaos, amidst this loss. However, hindi siya forever. <laughs> resilience is not forever. It just comes out naturally from a person who is naturally resilient pero hindi siya technically nagtatagal i'm speaking from experience i've always said i'm strong i can handle things i can do it i always say kaya ko yan mag-isa kaya ko yan kung walang tutulong 
I always think that they know my situation. If they wanted to help me, then they would help me. But I failed to see that if I will not mention about how painful it is, about the loss, about the pain, about the grief, about the sorrow, no one would understand what I'm going through. No one would actually accept or understand kung ano yung uh, gaano kasakit, ano yung pinagdadaanan ko. Or walang makikinig, walang makakaintindi kung bakit nga ba uh, I choose these things, I choose to not talk about it. And uh, of course, that's my personal take about the story of change. A lot of things have changed since uh, from the day that my mom passed away. Of course, in our life din, maraming pagbabago na hindi natin inaasahan. There are sudden changes na pwede nating ma-encounter in life. And sometimes, from those changes, hindi natin maiisip kung paano, hindi natin naiisip kung paano nga ba natin harapin yung mga pagbabago na yon. May it be in personal relationship, sa pamilya, sa kaibigan, sa acquaintances, sa katrabaho, medyo hindi natin ma, uh, madidecipher right away kung ano yung gagawin natin with the, with the sudden change. However, I would like to share with you yung kung paano nga ba nagsimula itong story of the 25 centavo change. I really wanted to talk about the values or I really wanted to talk about kung ano yung mga lessons na natutunan ko from my mom. Because apparently, with the things happening around, bigla kong naisip na um, parang nakakalimutan ko na yung mga mabuting natutunan ko from my mom. Parang nawawala na yung kwento. Parang hindi na siya ganun ka-fresh sa memory ko. And I wanted to put that into writing because I wanted to go back to those lessons. I wanted to go back to those happy moments. It's not that it's making me difficult to move on, but when you go back to those happy moments, it, it gives you power to accept the change. It, it has given me and my siblings the power to accept change. It's because there are a lot of stories then, and yung mga in, mga takes insights from my mom na hindi ko kayang sabihin personally face to face sa mga kapatid ko to my siblings. And the best way that I can communicate is through writing. So I borrowed the courage from the pen to, and so I took the courage to write the story from my point of view. So from this story of change, I would like to give, I would like to share some practical tips on how to uh, conceptualize transformation or change from our personal stories. So let's discuss some of them. Reframe your perspective. Well, in reframing our perspective, one effective way is of course, instead of dwelling onto the negative as aspects, let's, let's try to find the opportunities. Because of the grief, because of my loss, I was able to find an opportunity to become an author. I was able to find an opportunity to now become a speaker in the making. I would say a speaker in the making because I continuously learn and I continuously would like to share also the lessons in, and insights that I got from my mentors. Apart from re reframing your perspective from those negative things to positive, let us also practice self-compassion. Huwag ka masyadong harsh sa sarili mo. Huwag ka masyadong harsh sa self mo. Also understand that when, when you, you need to be kind and compassionate towards yourself. And of course, let us also be proactive I towards change. Huwag natin kalimutan na yung mga pagbabago na nangyayari sa buhay natin, meron, merong rason. At they become catalysts to, be, to uh, growth, to evolution. Ang, ang dami-daming nagbago when you look back at your 15-year-old self, if when you look back at your younger self, marami kang natutunan na pwede mong ibahagi. And I am a living testament to the 25 cents I would change. So I would always wanted to 
also encourage everyone to practice self-reflection. From reframing your perspective and practicing self-compassion and also taking proactive steps towards change, let us also reflect every now and then and let us also be willing to embrace itong mga pagbabago na nangyayari sa buhay natin. So stay tuned to our next episode where we'll continue our journey of personal growth and empowerment here at the 25 Centavo Change. This has been your host MJ and see you sa susunod na episode. Bye!